Okay, I'm here, you know, day nine, and um, I don't see it. So if I find it, I'm gonna give this a try, but I'm also gonna grab some of that, uh, that tape as well. I'm gonna keep looking, but I'm probably gonna grab this anyway. Okay, so here we go. So we have a couple options. We have the roll-on kind, which is basically lip liquid rubber in a can, which is more than I'll ever need. Um, but I could pretty much go to town and just paint the entire reservoir. Um, or we could just kind of go with this, or we can go with this clear. Um, and you have Gorilla Glue, and then uh, you have Gorilla. I kind of trust Gorilla Glue more than I trust um, Flex Seal. So um, we will kind of give it a whirl. Okay, so um, so I went over to Home Depot and I bought this stuff called uh, Water Weld. Um, apparently this is just the world's strongest bond, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to make this work. So, um, I don't know what kind of shit this stuff is made of. It's probably toxic to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and some piece to use. Yeah. Right, so I got that and also picked up some flex seal so um, I'm gonna do this water weld first uh, just because I just don't trust flex seals marketing I just think they're all marketing to be honest with you so what I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Okay, find something to sit on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let this thing cure first before I prime it. Before I prime the, um, before I prime the, the pump. Okay, so the I guess the main thing is I want to make sure that all this stuff here is dry. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Without further ado, I'm going to get started. See that here. So it says grab your putty and smear it along. Right. See how well this stuff works. Okay, so you have to guess you unscrew this. It's just some fancy putty. Sorry, I really can't do this on camera. So, Bear with me. Okay. So it's kind of like, the best way I could describe this stuff, it's like plastic explosives. You ever been in the military? That's kind of what this looks like. It looks like plastic explosives. So you grab, I guess, a glob of this shit. And uh, I don't understand the green part. Maybe that's like a mixer or something like that. So I'm gonna grab a chunk of this. Alright. Oh. Uh, it's like, okay, I know what this is. This is almost like the same stuff that they use catalysts in a base that you use for dental work. And I've seen this before. I've used this for dental. Get this all the way down in there. The bigger the glob, the better the job. Okay, I get it. All right. Actually, I get this a lot. I understand a better understanding of this. It's just like the shit that we use to make molds. It's on the outside too. Turn into cement very soon. Uh, try to keep this as dry as you can. Uh, 
The main thing is you want to you wanna make sure the outer hole doesn't breach. I don't think I have enough of this shit, to be honest with you. I think I need to buy another two. Concerned about here as well, so I'm gonna put some here as well. Just be on the safe side. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it with that. I'm gonna let that cure. I have it out here as well. Just try to make sure that this is completely on here and it says it it says it cures in 25 minutes i'm gonna give it a couple hours on the safe side um we shall see how well this bonds or sorry we shall see how well this bonds and uh i guess we'll kind of go from there after this bonds i'm gonna hit it with flex seal after it cures uh, after it cures so not that I get the, the main crack, I got the other one. I did not get this one here because I actually ran out of this material. You actually really need about two of these, but it's only $6. So not really the end of the world. Um, so I'm going to give this a, you know, like I said, I'm going to let this air out and dry. And uh, I guess we'll go, kind of go from there. So I'll keep you guys posted. Okay. So about this water shield, it says, uh, we'll plug and seal leaks and patch holes and cracks and almost anything ideal for repairing plumbing, fuel tanks, tub and shower, drains, pool and spa, boats, and portable water tanks. Setup occurs even underwater. After curing, it can be drilled, uh, tapped, filled, sanded, and painted. Water weld has a set time of 15 to 25 minutes and sets hard in one hour. Water weld cures to an off-white color, is rated with the, at a... I don't know, rated at a tensile strength of 1300 PSI and will withstand temperatures up to 300 degrees. So, like I'm telling you, ideally this thing doesn't really go over between 10, 10 pounds of pressure, maybe 20 if it's clogged. So, what I did was I, the crack, I went ahead and um, clogged it up over here. I clogged it up over here because I see a hairline crack over here. I went ahead and hit it on this side as well to be on the safe side. In about one hour, I'm gonna let, uh, I'm gonna let this cure, but I'm gonna spray it with Flex Seal on top of it just to add in an additional layer of protection. And I guess we shall go from here and uh, let's be optimistic. Well, it's been about two hours. Still a little moist. But, um, we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna hit, hit it with the clear Flex Seal. It's clear. All right. I'm going to hit it with this. Put a second second layer on here. Right. Does not shoot very well upside down. Does not work upside down, which is kind of weird. Don't like that. I think it says it doesn't shoot upside down. Which is very strange. I'm putting coats everywhere. Inside. All right, so what I ended up doing is shooting it because for some reason flex shield does not work when you shoot it upside down So I just shot it and let it drip down the wall and I guess we'll kind of see what happens. I'm gonna let this dry And I glob the shit out of it here and glob the shit out of it over there And uh, we'll go from there 
All right, so I flex sealed the entire thing. As you see, there's a coating on the entire thing. And um, I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm going to prime it. Okay, so I went ahead and pro uh, let it dry. It feels like it's uh, like a rubber seal. It feels really good. It's very well dry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and prime it and we're gonna go from there. All right, moment of truth. Went and primed it. We're at 10 PSI. 15. Son of a bitch, it works. I like the maple. We're at about 14 PSI. Uh, I can't tell if there's any leaks, but we are cranking away. I'm telling you people. Amazing. That's a hundred gallons a minute, people. It saved me a thousand dollars. We're around right around 14 PSI. And I'm gonna let this run for a little bit to see if we have any leaks. But fantastic. I've not had this thing on in over a year. Unbelievable.